Hey guys, welcome to my step-by-step -step tutorial on how to install Pixelmon for Minecraft. Now I'm actually going to be making this video for an amazing website called Pixelmon.net and I would highly suggest you checking them out for yourselves because that's where I'm going to be downloading Pixelmon from. It's also going to be where I'm uploading this video to. They're going to be using it as a video guide on the install page, which is very useful. And there's also a written guide there, so if you need more information, you can check that out. They've got a commands page, so you can learn how to use the mod in-game. Very useful as well. And of course, the forums, where there is tons of people in the community talking about Pixelmon, learning how to fix bugs and any issues you may run into. Definitely check out the forums for that type of stuff. And yeah, that's pretty much it. They've got, oh, I forgot the two most important things. They've got some amazing servers. So after you get the mod installed, if you want to play with your friends or just by yourself with randoms on an amazing server, definitely check out canto.pixelmon.net and hoen.pixelmon.net. All these IPs and links and anything I talk about will be in the description of this video. So don't worry if you missed out on any of it. Just go into the description. It'll all be there. Easy access. But what we're going to be doing now is getting the two required files to get Pixelmon working on your computer. The first file you'll need is, of course, the Pixelmon mod. And you can get that by clicking on the download button I just clicked on or typing in Pixelmon download on Google. I'm sure it'll come up as the first thing. And you can click on downloads once you get onto this website. And I've got all the latest versions here. Now, my servers at pixelmon.net are actually running on 3.3.1. So that is the version I'm going to be downloading today. But if you're watching this video in the future, the servers might be updated. So what you can actually do... Depending on what server you play on, if you're playing on Kanto or Hoenn, we will always announce in the news and announcements section what version our servers are running on. So as you can see, the latest post is saying Hoenn and Kanto updated to 3.3.1. So that's the one we're going to download. Back to the download page, 3.3.1. All right, sweet. Click the download button here. That'll bring up an ad fly link. I'm just going to go ahead and click it for you so I can show you. And then you want to click the skip add button in the top right and then the download will start. Download it to your desktop or somewhere easy so you won't forget. And now the only other thing you need to download is Forge. And you can find that right here. They recommend 1.7.10 Forge and they recommend this version in particular. So you can just go ahead and click that. It'll open up another ad fly. Click skip in the top. It'll download the file. Save it to your desktop. Exactly the same thing. I've already got both those files downloaded. So I won't have to watch or click through those ads there. So that's nice. But I also want to give you another way of downloading the Forge. In case it's not on this website or the link's broken or whatever. You just Google Forge. It'll come up with files.minecraftforge.net. And then you can just find the version they mentioned on the site. So this is the one they're recommending. And funnily enough, it says 1.7.10 recommended. You just scroll across, you click the installer button right here, and bam, you got the file. Too easy. And of course, that might change in the future. So if you're watching this video, and if it says like um, version 2.1.9, then exactly the same thing. You want to download the right Pixelmon version for the right Forge version. Now, once you've got those files, I'm sorry I actually took a while to explain that, but that's a really important part. That's where most of the people have problems, is getting the right version of Pixelmon for the right version of Forge for the right server. You've got to match all those three things up or it won't work for you. But anyway, let's continue. You've got your two files. Very simple now. You just open up Minecraft. You click Edit Profile. You make sure to set your version to the version that you're wanting, wanting to install. So we want to install 1.7.10 Forge. So you just click 1.7.10, save profile, play the game. Now I've already done that. That's just to get the basic files all ready for you. Then you just exit Minecraft. You double click Forge. It'll open up with this little window here. And you make sure that's where your .minecraft folder is. You tick the install client button, click OK. It downloads the latest libraries and bam. You have installed Forge. It's really that easy. Now, there is another little step here I will mention. For those of you who are having trouble running this file, you want to right-click, go open with Java, in brackets, TM, platform, SE, binary. If it's not on this menu, you can also choose default program, and you should be able to find it in there. Or if you don't have Java altogether, just Google Java download and download the latest one. So that'll help you out with that. Very easy, very easy indeed. Have a look at that. Open with Java. 
Bam, it'll open up on screen. Click OK. Too easy. You've got Forge installed now. What you want to do is open up Minecraft once again, just to double check it. Test it to make sure it's working. And you should be able to click this little arrow here and it should come up with Forge there. And you'll click it and it'll say Minecraft 1.7.10 Forge. You can also go to Profile Editor and you'll see it there. See, I've got Forge there. And that's how you know it's working. Bam, we've got Forge working. Done. Too easy. Next step is navigate your way to your .minecraft folder. If you know how to find this, then just go ahead and jump to it, but if you don't, you can type in the Windows search, percent app data percent, and then click on roaming, and then double click on .minecraft. Bam, you're in your .minecraft folder. If that doesn't work for you, like if you're on Mac or something, you can also search for .minecraft directly in the Windows search bar or your Mac search, whatever, and you should be able to find the folder, and if that still doesn't work, I have a very good way of doing it. I like to open up Minecraft. I like to wait till it loads, come on. You click on to Forge, and after the game opens up, this is what this is my personal favorite way of doing it, because it's so easy. You don't have to know anything about computers, you just have to know how to click a few buttons. So there we go, load up Minecraft. We don't have all day. Come on. Come on, tutorial. Yep, so once you're loaded in, you just want to click on Options, then Resource Packs, and then Open Resource Pack Folder. And if you do that, that'll bring you directly into .minecraft Resource Packs. You just click back one on the .minecraft, bam, you're in the same spot that you were by having to search through all the windows and stuff like that. So if you're a Mac user or another operating system user, clicking on Resource Packs and Open Resource pa resource pack folder is definitely a very easy way of doing it so there you go and once you're in here you just want to double click on the mods folder if there is not already a mods folder there in dot minecraft you just right click new folder and name it exactly how it's spelt there mods with an s with no capital letters you go into the folder and that's where you want to put the mod now i've already got the mod in there but i'll show you what it would look like if there was nothing in there just pretend that folder's gone because that's where I like to put all my non-active mods and I would suggest the same for you if you're installing Pixelmon. Pixelmon doesn't work very well with other mods. I'll just install Pixelmon by itself and drag all your other mods into a folder inside here so they're not activated. But yeah, basically, you've installed Forge by double-clicking it, you dragged in your latest Pixelmon version or whatever the version you need to jump on the server you're planning to connect to, you exit it, you open up Minecraft again, you click Forge, it should be good to go. We're going to double check it here to make sure it's all working smoothly for you guys. There we go, select Forge, make sure it says 1.7.10, click play, it's setting up the mod, it's loading, and it should be good to go. Let's hope I didn't screw it up guys while I was recording here. But I've done it a million times, and as you saw, it was very, very simple. I really, really want you guys to focus on making sure you get the right versions though and check pixelmon.net for the right versions if you want to join those servers. But as you can see, four mods loaded. You've got Pixelmon down there and all the default Forge ones. Looks like it's working. We can test it out by joining one of the Pixelmon servers here. We've got the Hoenn region and the Kanto region, which were just actually restarted and released, basically. So they're brand new, so definitely get in on the action now. But here we go. We'll join the Kanto server, which is kanto.pixelmon.net. Let's see if our Pokemon work. I should also probably make this bigger, because you guys are watching in full screen here, but there we go. Bam, come on, you can do it! Log into the server! Go Minecraft! And the delay, hardcore delay, nice. Let's see if Hoenn's up. Logging in. Nice, my mod is too strong. Oh, there we go, there we go. Probably just my internet lag in here. So we're on the Hoenn server. As you can see, it looks very amazing, and my Pixelmon mod is working. I can scroll through all the different Pixelmon. I can chuck them out. Bam! Go! Skeptile! Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> He's a sick Pokemon. I love him. Uh, what other Pokemon have I got? I got a Rayquazar on here. Boom! Oh, he's a mini one. Well, that, that was depressing. I know this guy's big. Go, Garudon! Garudon! Oh, I'm, t I'm used to saying Digimon names. There we go. How sick is that, guys? So that's pretty much it. That's all I had for this tutorial. If you have any questions, make sure to post in the comment section below. 
or go over to pixelmon.net and check the install guide there because we do have a written one and the latest video tutorial will be there. So check it out, all the links will be in the description. Make sure you download the right Pixelmon version, the right Forge, install it exactly how I did and you should be all sweet to come join me on the server. And don't forget to subscribe guys because I've got a lot of Pixelmon content as well as a ton of other Minecraft and other cool games, music parodies, tons of cool stuff. Subscribe, like the video and I'll see you in the next one.